superficial analysis. When someone speaks of the superficial sense, we know they are referring to an alternative to the actual or historical existence. In actuality, we acknowledge alternatives might not have truths, but we are only interested in the perception of the significant option. Because we don't want to sound like we're hallucinating about the alternative and that's why we refer to the significant option. The bigger question is superficial a form of justification? Actually yes. At the beginning of time, people relied upon the fundamental practices of teachings. Nowadays people rely heavily upon superficial aspects of religion and justifying certain aspects of religious beliefs, which can be considered as the semantics of the actual sense. Are religious exaggerating over Jesus' return? Jesus accepted the oath of being the Lamb of God, which was established from the throne of David. Revelation 5,1-9, when religious talk about the belief of being taken to heaven. The sense of entitlement is the comfort of heaven in the clouds instead of heaven on earth. According to modern religion, heaven is the place where God dwells, and it is God's holy habitation. He created it, he lives there, and one day, so will all believers. Jesus dwells on earth, he lives here in his habitation in spirit, which was created for his name's sake. When we die the second decree we will habitat with him eternally. Although, these are beliefs of modern Pharisees. During early civilization God wasn't recognized as a public figure, he revealed himself to certain people but not within his creations. Example, we know Jesus does not exist, but we are recommended to believe in his alternative and superficial character as well as his fundamental historical existence. These are the characters associated with Jesus, angelic, beautiful, faithful, forgiving, generous, graceful, godly, honorable, and loving. An African human-like presence that is now located on earth and in heaven as the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. The three-dimensional persons that form into one. Who is also known as the Father, King of Kings, King of Jews, Lamb of God, Lord of Lords, Mediator, Messiah, Prince of Peace, Redeemer, Savior, the Light of the World, all referring to a victorious historical human being. He is perceived to save people from their sins, by offering them deliverance through salvation for suppression of sin. Also, he offers hope through the word that is considered as coming from God. Are religious exaggerating over Lucifer's power? Nowhere in the Bible does mankind using these names Beelzebul, the devil, devils, demons, Lucifer, nor Satan, are given an oath or pledge upon a platform to obtain such power. While he is only one alternative to a non-spiritual devil, he supposes to fly or loaf around in the air, and he obtains his power through forms of deceit. According to dictionaries of the English language, Lucifer Loasfer is a name that, refers either to the devil or to the planet Venus when appearing as the morning star. Example, we know Lucifer does not exist, but we are recommended to believe in his alternative and superficial character as well as his fundamental historical existence. These are the characters associated with Lucifer, a fallen angel, Beelzebul, demon, devil, principality of darkness, or principality of power if he has power. These are the characters that derive from the word Lucifer, blasphemer, evil, wicked, etc. In Matthew 14 12 How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Lucifer only has one scripture in the Bible where his name appears. This means he never claimed his oath, and he doesn't dwell in heaven because he was cast out. But unfortunately, these roles are yet the most feared and talked about. The principal sources for our knowledge of the Egyptian concept of hell are the books of the netherworld, which are found inscribed on the walls of the royal tombs of the New Kingdom in the Valley of the Kings at Thebes, and then later on papyrus and other funerary objects belonging to commoners. Ancient Egyptians' concept of hell was beneath the earth, and the uncontrollable rage of the deity was directed against those who were condemned through their evils. In the ancient Egyptian concept of heaven, the blessed faced perilous obstacles in the netherworld, and demons guarded the gates, which required a knowledge of spells to overcome. It appears they traveled through the same hell of the damned, but they occupied a different space. The afterlife and hell are new concepts, that were presented during the Gospel period. One hundred years prior, the Jews were forced to worship pagan gods. When religious talk about sinners going to hell, they often expand the actual sense. These two are beliefs of modern Pharisees. The alternative God in the spiritual form has given anyone with power a platform to be disingenuine forming double standards. The church is a valid place where anyone can become impatient with the alternative God's demands, as a result, fewer people are believing. The psychologist says these are other reasons people are losing their minds. Although most of the things people feel entitled to are physical, these aspects of entitlements are superficial. Science says the origin of DNA's intricate complexity is unexplainable just like the universe. Scientist also says the universe is expanding, and discoveries seem to point to a transcendent creator. But according to modern science, some of these aspects of entitlements haven't yet to be proven. Dictionary terms. Exaggeration, the act of exaggerating or overstating. Hallucinate, 
a sensory experience of something that does not exist outside of the mind, caused by various mental and physical disorders. Or by the reaction to certain toxic substances, and ordinarily manifests as visual auditory images. The sensation is caused by a hallucinatory condition over the object or scene visualized. A false belief, impression, or notion, delusion or illusion. 